All right, folks. Well, according to the Hollywood Reporter, Paramount has renewed talks to sell BET assets. Uh, it looks like this news just came out earlier today on July 2nd. And I'll leave a link to the article in the comment section below. But uh, private equity firm CC Capital is reportedly backing a bid by BET leader Scott Mills to buy the group. Okay, here. So basically, the article goes into detail about over the past uh, several years, there have been multiple times in which uh, different assets from the BET umbrella has been, you know, placed on sale or for auction. Uh, let's see here. It looks like the unit itself, the assets being BET, the network, BET plus, uh, BH1 and BET studios. Now, the article goes into detail here talking about how CC Capital, whose private equity firm, it, this sounds like some Gary stuff right here, you know, in terms of like, you know, um, you know, a financial company that's backing a different corporation. And I'm not, I, I'm not saying it's funny money like Gary, but it's just something I was uh, thinking about while reading this. So in terms of the bid, uh, reps from Paramount and CC Capital have not replied for comment in terms of exactly what's going down. But regardless, it looks like they are interested in yet again, putting everything back on the market. So of course they talk about how Tyler Perry and Byron Allen attempted to buy BET, but were unable to come out with a figure that Paramount leadership would agree to. And in terms of the move they're doing now, I remember covering this a few months ago, but apparently there's a lot of debt. Um, it's really crazy. BET has been part of the conglomerate, conglomerate since 2000. And Sumner Redstone's Viacom, oh, Viacom acquired BET for $2.3 billion in stock and $570 million in debt. Now Paramount, which comprise of both CBS and Viacom assets, they're looking to shave $500 million in costs annually as it awaits word on the direction of the company. So that's pretty wild to think about here in terms of, you know, a network that is so much in debt because I remember uh, maybe a couple years ago, there was the article about BET plus not really bringing in the money that was being spent on the platform in the fact that they, they, I remember they celebrated having like a million subscribers, but it took a while for them to get there since their launch back in 20, 2019, 2020. And and look, I know this is way above my pay grade, but it just seems like such a weird thing not to sell it to either Byron Allen or especially Tyler Perry for all he brings to the network, bringing in some amount of worth to BET. But he did say that after his last attempt of trying to purchase the network and they weren't, you know, agreeing to the amount he wanted to offer, he said he would never bid on it again. Now, my thing is this, at that moment, yeah, I can definitely understand him saying that, but who's to tell? I mean, if the price is right on this uh, next attempt of selling the network, because to me, I can't even imagine them trying to uh, sell the company for the same amount that they were unable to get a buyer from last time. If I remember correctly, wasn't it like, three billion or 2.5 i forgot the exact numbers I, I i remember doing a video covering that but it just seemed that they wanted close to double what tyler perry or byron allen were offering and then they just decided to opt out so you would think them putting it i mean as someone who sells on ebay that's how it goes like if i put up something for auction or if i have a set price and i don't get the amount like let's say i have an action figure that's you know i'm thinking okay uh let me do $85. Nobody, nobody bites. Nobody puts in a bid. And if anybody does make an offer, it's like, no, 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 $50 is too low. But if it's just sitting there for like two weeks and it's just, you know, taking up room or collecting dust, I'm like, well, I got to come with some compromise. I end up selling it for the $50 or 55 or something. So I don't imagine 
that BET, they'll try to sell it at the same price they did last time and got nobody to take it. So one has to wonder if it isn't Tyler Perry, could another person emerge to try to take the company, but, or buy the, not take, but buy. Uh, regardless, it is interesting because, you know, this happens right after Tyler signed a new contract with Viacom. So maybe there's some leeway there. I don't know. But hey, if there are updates, um, you know, in the near future, I'll be more than happy to cover them here on the channel. But with that being said, feel free to let me know if you have any thoughts on this in the comment section below. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.